Michael Cohen certainly indicated that he is likely to be cooperating. Uh, if you look at the way the information is structured, the way the plea deal is structured, it looks like the prosecutors set up future cases, not necessarily against the president, but against folks in the, in the Trump organization. You know, there's a lot of talk in there about uh, payments coming from the Trump organization, which executives knew what, sending emails, uh, sending fake uh, or sending wire transfers with false explanations. There's no reason for that to have been in the information other than to lock uh, Michael Cohen in to potential future testimony and per perhaps set up another case against people within the Trump organization. Yeah, and we know, we know that he obviously has information, Jay, and, and he is obviously flipped. I mean, saying that not only, he, you know, as Eamon said, <laughs> yeah. he, he'll take a bullet, now he won't even take a pardon. I mean, that's what right. his lawyer suggested was that there's become that much of a rift and animosity between these two. Or do you think that this is some kind of a ploy to scare the president to make sure that if there is some kind of a pardon, that the best deal, the best timing, whatever it may be, is reached? Is this Cohen's own negotiating tactic? You know, I don't know what's in Michael Cohen's head, but it's, this doesn't seem like a particularly good negotiating tactic if he's looking to get something get a pardon out of the president. What Manafort is doing looks more likely to be a ploy to get a pardon out of the president. Uh, Cohen looks like he's all in on, on giving whatever help he can to, uh, to the special counsel and prosecutors in New York, at least if you believe his attorney. From a prosecutor's standpoint, um, I'm wondering, Jay, you know, what, what do we need to find out or what would we need to find out from a Michael Cohen in order to build some sort of case that sticks against the president. I mean, from the market standpoint, we're trying to figure out if this is going to jeopardize at all the Trump agenda, if, if Trump is going to be in jeopardy in some way. So what's your view? Well, I, if you're going to build a case against the president, it's hard to see a case based on, on the Cohen materials without Cohen. And so Cohen would have to testify. But you would also need to have corroborating information, documents, emails, notes, recordings. Cohen said he has recordings. Uh, that's the sort of thing you could use to build a case against the president. But like I mentioned, you don't necessarily have to be building a case just against the president. They could be uh, using Cohen to go after other people within the Trump administration, within the campaign, um, and, and that could be just as distracting, just as potentially damaging to the administration, particularly given the, the longstanding DOJ interpretation that you can't indict a sitting president. You know, our viewers may be wondering why the Dow futures aren't down more than down about 33 points, given all this news here. And the Washington Post headline said effectively that everything else going on, any kind of an indictment is highly unlikely. The market seems to at least be focusing on that. Would you agree with that take? We can say all we want. We can dislike him all we want as a president or like him all we want as a president. But yet, right. despite the Cohen news, indictments against an acting president, if not impossible, are extremely difficult. I think that's probably right. Uh, you know, there's no, Mueller's given no indication he is intending to rebut or, or ignore that DOJ interpretation. So that means you're not likely to see an actual indictment of the president. It doesn't mean that you won't end up with a report where, where you've got crimes detailed, a report that perhaps goes to Congress. Who knows what the makeup of Congress will be next year? That could very much change the dynamic. Um, so I, I think you could see that coming. And again, you've got, it looks like this is just beginning, not just with the Cohen side of it, but the rest of the Mueller investigation it looks like it's just heating up. And we have a ways to go. We're going to have a lot good, it's a good guess that we're going to have a lot more indictments. We're going to have um, you know, more news like, like yesterday. And uh, that this story isn't going to weigh and it's going to go away and it's going to put more and more pressure on the president. To, to do something. Don't forget, we still have the fight about whether or not uh, the president can be forced to testify before a grand jury in the, in the Mueller investigation. That's, that's likely coming as well.